Hi everyone, it's Clara here. I have just completed this beautiful journal. It has taken me quite a long time to finish it. Um, it, it measures um, 18 and a half centimeters by 26 centimeters. Uh, the spine is um, five centimeters thick, and this journal is 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 a it's a big journal, so it comes with a little another little journal. This is the one that you'd want to uh, travel with, put in your handbag, jot down. Um, you know stuff and then this if you don't like traveling such a big journal or moving around such a big journal go with this one put the stuff in here and then come and transfer it into this journal that's was my idea and uh, that went behind making an another smaller little um i wouldn't call it a journal call it like a folio or some sort of folio uh, we can start by flipping through uh, the folio this measures um where is this? A 15 by 21 centimeters. What? Not 21. Yep. 15 by 21 centimeters, which is a regular sized A4 uh, notebook. So this closes the journal shut. It has a fabric cover. And you open it. Uh, you open it let me just move the camera a little bit you open it this way and uh, this flips out here and it's got several pages here plenty of pocket space to put your whatever you've collected throughout the day or the week or the or the holiday I've included a little a uh, two little notebooks in here it's totally blank and of course when these uh, get filled up or you run out of space in here you can easily buy any um, notebook or make your own little notebook that will fit in here because that, that stay in there um, it's got pockets here I haven't filled this with with anything it's just for you, for the owner the new owner to uh, fill in with whatever they'd like and this is the other one here very simple little notebook and another pocket and this opens this way actually opens out like this it's really long and that's it so this is included when you buy the actual journal. I just simply close it like that. The the spine is two centimeters wide. Now let's get into the journal itself. Uh, there's uh, the cover is um, it's a repurposed book. I turned around the cover and used the uh, inside cover as the outside cover. I stuck some. Uh, this beautiful digital of roses there is burlap and fabric and this is the same fabric as the folio and there's some lace trim going down here and also down the back and this is the first uh, the, the, the front of the, the journal it is filled with images of uh, flowers and uh, plants and uh, obviously this is i would say it's a nature journal or a nature themed journal for flowers and uh, some butterflies and insects are included here as well and these are pages from the original book it was a a, a music book so i've included i've sewn back the um, original pages this is in German these are German songs here are some journal cards that go into this pocket
pocket envelope type thing and the pages are coffee dyed and this has one two three four five signatures i always forget to count these beforehand um this coffee dyed paper uh, some rickrack here and of course beautiful images of uh, plants flowers seeds and some illustrations and there is plenty 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 of journaling space in this journal this is a big uh, jumbo journal tag that i made it says believe it's uh, this the digitals are sewn onto the card and these are digitals from um, Shabby Dabby Duda. Uh, some part of the and the uh, these uh, images are from Far Mirage on Etsy. Music paper, vintage music paper, and some some more beautiful images. And of course, on top of these, if uh, you'd like, you can stick photos. You can find space to write something in between the empty spaces. Another page again. This is a, um, a pocket, a large pocket here with some journaling cards from Artie Mays. Just stuck that in there. These are vintage uh, book pages from a from a book, a bird book, you can journal here, so that it's a flip out and a pocket, some more of these lovely, lovely images, here's a pocket with some cards in here, a faux postcard, that stays in here, and again vintage music paper, and these are just some flower discs that I cut out and stuck on this page, just to bring some interest. Again, more. And I also used another um, Etsy shop for some of these images in here. This is Shabby Dabby Duda. This is Far Mirage, another one of those big journal cards. This is a journal card, journal tag, journal. Some lace at the top. Some more pages from the book. And that's the end of the first signature. And this just, you can jot down notes here. You can also write behind here. And this is like that it says amazing and this opens up like that and this is um music paper from a very old uh, book i believe it's from 1936 i didn't do anything to it just left it as is it's very delicate and it was i've just tucked that in here Here's another side pocket, and this is an old uh, page from a dictionary, and it has the uh, words, uh, the word uh, flower, and stuff like that. Shows you that, so I thought that would be interesting to put because it's relevant to this journal. I'm still to I still have to get used to talking on this on these videos I'm just rambling I'm not even sure what I'm saying <laughs> but you can see for those who don't even listen to me you can mute and just watch the flip through in silence uh, that is uh, um, just some you can journal on this car um, paper here this is uh, journaling cards. 
this is from victoria designs there that's that's the name victoria designs not victoria with an i but with an e i think that's how you pronounce it from shabby dabby duda beautiful beautiful images here and here and this is a uh, little fold out this shines in the light the butterfly this page this is a uh, page from an old uh, botanical book a german botanical book that i've included here and um, a vintage page the sun is setting now it's winter time so we have to be quick the sun goes down it gets dark by five o'clock some more cards to journal on There's another page these are images from victoria designs Tiny journaling cards there too. Coffee dyed paper, as you can see. Um, yep, and this uh, some insects as well. I've we included those here. This is uh, this is also these are also pages from the uh, from an old vintage uh, insect book. And this flips out so, like that. Uh, this journal has approximately 160 uh, pages, including these ones, these sort of pages. Here's some journaling cards. As I said, there's plenty of space to write. Someone can even make this their 2020 um journal depending on how much you write of course how much you write how much you journal it's another vintage page from a music book this tucks in here it's a large pocket some late some uh, vintage lace trim as well i bought this from a from an old lady who doesn't need it anymore she doesn't want to stitch anymore she's very old it's a beautiful image of a mother bringing food to her young. Lace trim. Vintage music paper. Here's another pocket. It has uh, one, two, four slots to put in something and this is another vintage uh, page from the vintage what is it yeah this was a plant book some playing cards with flowers on them very relevant again to this journal and this is an old map that i've included here it's, it's quite huge it is an old map from a uh, school atlas it's dated 1929 so i thought that would be fun to include it here page full postcard journaling cards some butterflies another insect page and uh, insect pages from the book vintage book and behind there's some journaling tags and this is just beautiful if I may say so myself. 
Uh, here's a uh, an envelope. I haven't uh, sealed the or closed up the edges. I just left it open, but it, this is an envelope. And I'm really improving on my collaging. That stays there. This is a beautiful butterfly. It shimmers in the light. And uh, yeah, these are pages from also an index, index pages from the uh, vintage bird book. And these are something to journal in. This one as well. This one here. And this is another, oops, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful page from the botanical book. Look at that. And it opens up like that too. Here's a journal card tag and an old uh, postcard. This is a, a birthday postcard. Oh, I cannot see the date. I think it's 1952. If I'm not mistaken, it's vintage. I bought it from a uh, flea market here in Germany. Here's another page with vintage lace. You can also journal under here and a journal tag with lace at the top there and this is just something to you can journal here and as well as at the back it's blank and this is a large pocket here and a pocket here and this as well there's a pocket here. Oh, and, and this this bird is so so cute. That had to be included there. So this is from the vintage bird book. Some more beautiful images from Fami Raj and the butterfly. This is another tag, and this is the tuck spot here, and this opens up like that. I, it was a shame to cut it, so it had to be included in here, but not. I didn't cut it. And in the end, where is the middle? Mm -hmm. These are from Shabby Dabby Duda. Adding some color to the journal, more journaling space here. Where are we? Another large pocket and flip out journaling space. You can move this like this and easily write here as well. Another envelope. And that brings us to the end of the journal. So this is going to be listed in my uh, Etsy shop very soon um, and I hope you enjoy the video and uh, bye for now.